Hey guys, I'm Suzanne. Welcome to HSN. And we don't just have kitchen items. We have real solutions. And our first item is one of our very, very favorites. Do you want to save a ton of money on your food bill? I'm not talking about a couple bucks or $5 a month. I'm talking about substantial savings. Well, it couldn't be easier than with our today's special, the Debbie Meyer Ultra Light Green Boxes. Why? All you have to do is you got stuff in containers, put it in a green box, and boom, watch the savings happen. This is a massive collection and this is the one that I personally recommend even to Libby Edelman last night we were on doing shoes and she said do those work and I go oh heck yes they do you're getting an 80 piece set this is such a great collection but watch this because Libby asked last night it all collapses down to this so if you're freaking out saying I don't know where I'd put all those you don't have to worry about it but if you're interested in saving a considerable amount of money because you're not throwing all your food out then this is definitely the answer. We got to jump into it. I want to meet. I want you to meet the inventor behind it. It is indeed Debbie Meyer. Hi, Debbie Meyer. Yeah, oh, hello, Susie. Welcome Hi, back. You? Well, thank you. Okay, so we were trying to do some calculations a little earlier, and we figured out there has been tens of millions of individual green boxes sold, and that is amazing. And why do you think that is? Because they were. Isn't that a great idea? Uh, who <laughs> that was not a trick question, was it? No, it was not. <laughs> and why do they? Work? I've done the dish with you. I know. Yes. Okay. They work very simply because of a, my proprietary formula of natural ingredients that are in part of the box. It's part of the construction of the box. It is not a lining. It is not a coating. You cannot wash out or wear out their effectiveness. Their effectiveness, what do I mean by that? Independent laboratory testing. Tested my boxes and said my boxes will extend the life of all produce, fruits, vegetables, baked goods, and snacks by simply storing them in my ultralight green boxes. So how do, what does it mean to you, really? I mean, that's a lot of words and it's a lot of sure. science, and it really is real science. It means this. The strawberries I bought nine days ago, I did not put some of them in my green box, but the ones that lived in my green box for the last nine days are still like this nine days later. The ones that didn't have the benefit of my green boxes look like that. It's a, it's a difference between garbage and food. Yeah. Whether you get it in, you know, I want it in my family. I don't want it in the garbage can. Well, this way, you know? For me, it's green boxes mean the green dollar sign. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it truly does. Absolutely. My boxes are BPA free, top rack dishwasher safe, proudly made right here in America and reusable indefinitely. As long as this box exists, it works. Yeah, it never washes out, guys. No. I have, I, and even Libby Edelman was asking me last night, she goes, well, is that a coating? I'm like, no, no, no. I did no. the whole spiel. You had been so proud I, of me. I, I, and they, we started laughing because she's like, I've got to get this. I go, yes, you really do. And this is off camera and Libby, of course, is a great shoe designer uh, from the Edelman, you know, Sam and Libby. It. You know yep. them, right? Oh, yes. But this is your time to get it. And here's why. First off, it's the ultralight. We've not done these in a long time. In Very fact, long. it's yes. been uh, almost a little over a year, a year, actually, right? Yes. And these are awesome. So they're very lightweight, yet they're wildly durable. If you are throwing food out, think of the tomatoes, the mushrooms, the, the, any kind of fruits. We're going to talk about the cookies and, and oh, the yes. salads. Oh, yes. Stop doing Look that. And it's so simple because all you do is change the container you put it in. And that's what I think it's so successful. It's because it's effortless way that's to it. really save a lot of money. I wouldn't want to do more work. Why would I give it to somebody else to do? Yes. All I do is transfer for if there's original packaging, I get it out of the original packaging and simply put it into my green box. That's all the work work there is. That's it. <laughs> right? That's it. And it's as simple as can be. My mushrooms I buy pre-sliced because I like the convenience. They're pre-washed, pre-sliced. Look at that mushroom. Boom. At mm. nine days. Nine days. Wow. By the way, my box is all proudly made right here in America. It's important to me, and I know it's important to you because you've all written to me about it. We love that. So you store what you're keeping in it exactly as you ordinarily would. If it goes in the fridge, it goes in the fridge. If it's something you keep on the countertop, you continue to keep it on the countertop. Okay. Like these tomatoes. At 14 days, the di look, that's what a 14-day tomato looks like in my world. But come back here because I this also want classic. you to remember it is also for your breads and baked goods and snacks. Yep. Independent laboratory testing said at 11 days, that's pretty much what you can expect to find. Well, I don't want to find that because that means I'm going to have to throw things out and rebuy them. That becomes more and more expensive the more you replace what you didn't get to eat in the first place, right? So let's start with the bagels. Beautiful. Actually, oh, look at this spongy bake. Smell that. How many days are we doing on this? 11 days. Oh, my gosh. It, it smells is, like it literally fresh baked. 11 like days, the same them. time the as that rotten stuff. Yeah. English muffins, <laughs> also 11 days, same thing. Now, it's, done, it's not just bagels and English muffins, it's any baked goods, croissants, bread rolls, anything you can, any kind of bread, any kind of baked good. 
you're getting eight of my 64 ounce boxes in this set eight of them. Two of them will hold an entire loaf of bread. And this is how I start my house because I keep it in a drawer just like this. So we save money by taking lunches to school or to camp or to, to, to uh, office, right. Mm -hmm. But when you stick your hand in my green box and pull this out, this is the bread that you're going to find at 11 days. And I had a caller who said what he loves is to open the box and just sniff because the, the aroma Still smells of good. The bakery <laughs> goods just yeah. is wonderful. And stick, out. stick around because I'm going to eat something that's uh, like well over a couple weeks old. Yes. Yeah, you got to see that. And I I'll know. eat it. I'm he gonna, knows I will. I hey, know. a couple very... things. We would love to hear your story. I know Debbie's got a lot to tell us about this because it really is, it's a cool technology, but it's just this simple. And I'll tell you what, if you are tired of throwing food out, take a minute and say, well, I got a lot of plastic stuff and zippy stuff and wrappy stuff you don't need all of that you literally just need debbie meyer green boxes and it makes a massive <laughs> difference and i love I that, sound. that sound yes <laughs> that tells you everything this lettuce is 21 days old three weeks fresh there's three weeks this is 21 three weeks. Look, you guys 21 20. and she cannot Listen. make this up we love debbie we love her to death but she cannot come out and show nope. these little numbers or even show what you're seeing here unless it's been independently scientifically mm -hmm. proven. And I think that's why tens of millions of individual green boxes have been sold since yes. Debbie launched them, since she introduced them to the world. And you can't get them like this anywhere no, else. It this is, is her exclusive. Pattern. And this is an exclusive configuration. Nobody else, nowhere can you get a, a size kit like this. Oh, it's huge. 80 huge. pieces. 80 pieces. Okay, yeah. nobody is snacking on grapes if they look like that. At 14 right. days, this is what you can have. And how expensive are grapes? We love them, but you're well, not going to eat them all at once. <laughs> well, we're ta let's talk super berries. <laughs> yes. All right? Down here right are here. My, my three super berries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, all the things I tell you you should eat, be eating right now. Instead of having blackberry mush, you have blackberry, gorgeous blackberries to eat. Look at these beautiful jewels. I can roll them around. Nine days. Mm. Nine day blueberries. I can take a handful of blueberries to snack on instead of that. Raspberries. I'm telling mm. you, each of these plates should be gold because of that, what's so on them expensive. and what it costs. Raspberries. I can pull up raspberries and roll them around in my hand without juicing them in my hand at nine days. Look right. how gorgeous that is. Where is it? How do you miss Diane in Texas? So, oh. Diane in Texas. Hi, you're on with Debbie. Welcome to HSN. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank and Miss Debbie Meyer, you know, <laughs> these things are so simple looking. And, and and so unbelievable, but they work. They work just as well as Debbie Meyer meant them to work. <laughs> Thank you, darling. And this, I have bought a lot of green boxes. I adore them. I give them to my kids at Christmas. I give them to my neighbors as gifts. I give them away and I pass along the gospel. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a, that's adorable. Yes, we're going to start a new religion, the <laughs> Debbie Meyer Green Box, followers of the Debbie Meyer yeah. Green Boxes. <laughs> as well we should. I and think this, so. A hallelujah to that, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, Diane. Inspiration is wonderful. That is a super duper buy. It's I mean, that's an incredible bargain. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's huge, yeah. Well, and, Diane, and, if someone's watching and they're a little bit skeptical, honestly, what would you tell them? They're nuts for not spending a nickel and getting these things. <laughs> Throw everything else that you have at home, the margarine containers and the, <laughs> right. the stuff that begins with the T and the stuff that begins with the G. Uh. Well, not yeah. green boxes, but the other stuff. <laughs> and, and, You're cute. and invest yourself in a few of these things. They last forever. Their wearability is insane. Mm -hmm. I have some that are, are, are four years old easily. Maybe oh. five or six, I yep. have to say. And still going and strong, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. And I use them every single day. Certainly. I use them for leftovers. I love them for fresh fruit and veggies because I have birds. My birds uh, eat fresh fruit and yes. vegetables. Oh. They are expensive. Yes. I mean, it's it's an expense. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and just like you want to give your kids and your family the freshest, you got to do that for your furried and feathered people as well. well very course. true, absolutely. Yeah, I understand. And these, well, these, boy, oh boy, blueberries for two weeks, no problem. That's awesome. Well, right Diana, a month? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to go home. You should come in yeah, here. Yeah, just come on here and you can just, you're, you're doing great. <laughs> Diane, thanks, sweetie. We really do appreciate you joining Thank you, us. Thank you, Diane. Yeah. It's so important to me when you share your experiences because that helps other people understand. This is real science. Mm -hmm. This is not an opinion. This is all about science. Air is not the enemy of your fruits and vegetables. It is not. The enemy of your fruits and vegetables is ethylene gas. Ethylene gas is the natural ripening gas that comes out of every fruit and vegetable once it's harvested. If your fruits and vegetables are cut, like sliced or pre-cut like this, they exude even more ethylene gas. So you can't see it, smell it, or taste it, but it's all over this table because there are fruits and vegetables, right? So uh, what I, the way I can show it to you is have it trapped in this bag. This is a cut salad bag. And if you've ever gone to the grocery store and seen these bags a little puffed up, that's not air, that is the gas. And what is the gas doing? You see that salad in there? No. It's now soup. No. That's what ethylene gas does. It continues the ripening process on into the rotting process. Well, what I do with my boxes is take care of that gas so I can slow the whole process down. I'm not going to take an old piece of fruit or vegetable, put it in my box, and turn it new. It doesn't turn back the clock. What it does is it slows down the clock so that you no longer have to worry about things like a pepper at 21 mm. days. Look That's at the insane. And peppers I mean, cost like $8,000. I mean, you know, it's ridiculous. This is your are. flex pay. Yeah, right that is a flex it's, pay. It's more right. than a flex pay right there. That's true. It's and true. you add a, a yellow pepper, it's more than a flex pay. <laughs> I'm going to cut this open for you. I want you to understand that that gas is what is the problem. If you seal up your fruits and vegetables in an ordinary plastic, an ordinary plastic box, an ordinary glass box, wraps or anything that seals it in. Plastic bags. Your, your plastic bags, you're actually sealing in the very thing that causes the problem. You're not sealing anything out. Everything's already in there, and you're keeping it in there. And just real quickly, guys, I'm going to run over here. Deb, I'll be right back with you in just a second. I do want to show you and explain the configuration. You saw it, and it's really substantial. It's actually 40 of the rectangular containers, and you get all the lids to go with it. She's done, and this is a huge configuration. Eight of the 64 ounces. You get eight of the 32 ounces. You get 12 of the 24 ounces, and you get 12 of the 16 ounces. So you have lots of sizes to work with here. All of it, because this is what freaks everybody out. They're like, wait a minute, there's no way. I have no room for all those. Mm -hmm. Look, it all stacks together. So don't worry if you're saying, well, I'm a little space starved, you'll love it. And here's what happens. I swear people steal my green boxes out of my house. They really do. And I'm always having to resupply. And I think this is the perfect stock up. I'll take them to someone's house and then I'll forget about them and leave them there. I too, and Debbie, you know this, I've given these as holiday yes. gifts. There is no shame in my green box game. And here's why. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to save someone I love a whole lot of money. And it's so simple. This isn't a big commitment. You don't have to change your whole lifestyle. You're going to put your food in something or it comes in something. Just change the container. And you know what the, one of the best things is? Is getting rid of all those other mismatched, that you can't find a lid. You're trying to put plastic wrap over one, you know, an, an old, you know, like margarine tub. It's, it's crazy. Just get rid of them and get yourself a brand new set of containers. And you know, these can be your everything boxes. They, do, they are specifically made to extend the life of produce, uh, fruits, vegetables, baked goods, and snacks, but you can use them for everything. You want to put leftovers in them? Go ahead. Dude, yeah. You want to put craft supplies in them? Go ahead. But the specific use is scientifically proven to extend the life of all of all your baked goods, of all your fruits, and all your vegetables. Would you like a cookie? I will. Do you I... want a crispy chocolate chip cookie, or do you like soft bake? I want the big guys. Oh, of course she wants the big ones. Okay, are you <laughs> that's, the, that's the soft bake. Look how okay. good this is. Now, that's a and soft. I'm gonna eat it. That's a big soft bake chocolate. <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay. Uh, that mm. is. Right. Look at that. Yum 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 yum. Now I'm gonna tell you to keep your soft cookies separated from your from your crispy cookies mm -hmm. because you want to make sure that these stay soft, these stay crisp. But right down, you see the sign down there? 42 days. And you know I wouldn't give you a bad cookie. So 42 days. <laughs> that would days, not be too good. Uh, at 42 <laughs> days, independent laboratory testing said that. Baked goods did not lose their taste, texture, or aroma, which is, face it, exactly what we love about baked goods. Mm -hmm. right, so it doesn't matter what kind of baked good, whether it's cookies, it's brownies, it's all kinds of little cookies here. There's snacks of all kinds. This is my salad bar, by the way. I keep my salad bar stocked with things that, different things that my family likes. 
because I was tired of making a gorgeous salad and watching people flick things out of it they don't like. That's a waste of money. This way we make our own salads and we're able to take, put the lids on, take it to the park. I can actually have my family snack on something healthy instead of going to the greasy truck right. Right. when we get out there. Well, I think this is a great idea too. I mean, even if you have oh, cereals, do your sure. kids open up that box of cereal and they leave it open and guess what? A day later oh. it's gone stale and bad. Absolutely. Kids cereal, oh my oh. gosh. That's another thing that, I don't know if they're putting gold in it or not, but it's so expensive. Yeah. Yeah, croissants, you'd, you'd look think. at this, even hot dog buns. And you know what I do if you're having a cookout? You can pre-prep all of this stuff. Yes. And remember, you know, prep on Sunday, serve it throughout the week. That's right. You know, Debbie, I don't know if you know, but I really am working very, very hard on changing my eating and my lifestyle mm -hmm. in terms of my diet. And I've made a lifestyle change, but it requires me to prep a lot more so I eat right. And guess what? If you were to open my fridge right now, it is jam-packed, and it has been for years, but it's jam-packed with the things that I want on hand that are fresh, like broccoli like my cauliflower. I'm eating a whole lot of spinach. I'm eating tons yes. of kale and spinach, right? And you know right? how fast spinach goes on. Crazy it, fast. Spinach will turn slimy in two days. It's amazing. Just simply get it out of the packaging, put it in my boxes. People will ask me, do I wash it, wash my produce before I put it in? I actually don't. I will cut it up. I will do all kinds of things to it, but I don't wash it first because I don't want you to add more moisture. If you see moisture in the box, it's a natural part of the process of the fruits and vegetables. Just take a paper towel or one of my genius and wipe out the moisture. That's all. It's not affecting the box. The box is not doing anything. That is the fruit and vegetable. And if you have a Debbie Meyer Green Box experience, please come through and share it with yes. other people. You know, how long has your food last? How much money do you think you're saving? And you know, I'm frugal as the day is long. You know me, I'm a crafter. And yes. I'll save a little piece of ribbon oh, that's, me too. that's um, like that size of that carrot. Yeah. I do. I'm like, I could use that someday. A little piece of paper. Right. A little piece of paper. I'm going to use it for something. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if you're like that, you know, is is this making a substantial difference in your food bill? Really? And if you've never tried these, right now is the perfect time. It is by far one of the biggest configurations. I love the fact they're all rectangles because they all fit beautifully in your cabinets, in your fridge, if you leave them on the countertops. Yep. Yep. Oh, avocados. One of your reviewers said she was amazed how, well, you know, avocados turn brown in right. a nanosecond if you leave them out. Absolutely. Yep. I have done that too. I put it face down in one of my boxes. It's actually perfect. Huge. I wanted to show you this because I wanted to introduce you to my new yoga carrot. <laughs> Downward dog. <laughs> Carrots are not supposed to fold. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I always say this would be funny if it isn't my money, but it is my money. That's your money in the trash. We have to stop wasting food. We have to start reducing that waste. How do you do it? Simply put everything into one of my green boxes. This, these carrots are the same age. Three weeks. Listen, that's a three-week three carrot yeah. to the... Good color, right to the tip. Color, moisture, nutrition, right to the tip. And if you're a juicer or you make your own baby food, this Huge. is the way you can have all you need on hand at and the same time. Debbie, do you find that people email you and say, look, I was I was gonna juice a lot, but mm -hmm. I ended up throwing out so much of that fresh That's food right. That's right. that it was very expensive and a waste and I stopped doing it. Do you get emails that people have really changed their diet because Absolutely. of the green boxes? In fact, what I, what some of the, my favorite ones are people who are on actually very strict budgets. Maybe you know they have a limited budget and they said they stopped buying fruits and vegetables because they were frightened that it was going to go off before they had a and chance they'd have to, to eat throw it out and they would have to throw it out they're back to eating more healthfully because wow. they're not afraid I tell people don't be afraid of the things you love I love all kinds of fruits and vegetables I call that aisle the aisle of best intentions you go down it and you see the most beautiful mm -hmm. corn and pears and peaches Melon. And, you, and you want to buy everything and you bring it home and what happens life okay. you go out to dinner you go to the movies you you go to a friend's house, whatever happens, and you don't get to eat the thing that you bought immediately. My family was tired of me yelling at them, hurry up and eat this. We have to eat the carrots tonight because they're going to be bad. Or you know what really drives me crazy is parsley. You need parsley for one little recipe, yeah. and you have that huge bunch, and you just, you're walking into the fridge, you open up, you know, the salad drawer, yep. and you're like, really? It's completely gone. And you throw it out, and you're like, oh my goodness. You don't so have to do So if you that. love the fresh herbs, if you love the parsley, I use a lot of tarragon now, throw it in the green box. Just That's change it. the container. That's this it. is such a brilliant way to really save a ton of money on that food bill. And the only way you can get this set is right here. And by the way, that's tonight only. Uh, what happens at midnight tonight in a couple of hours, the value will completely evaporate. Ah. So you're getting one. Uh, we haven't done the ultralights in a long time, and I really recommend those. Um, they're my personal favorites is the ultralight. You get 40 containers, 40 lids. It's a big 80-piece set, but it will end tonight. So it's an important thing is if you want to get the best deal on it, it kind 
kind of got to get it done now. Now, I also want to point out FlexPay because you oh, said yes. with, even with a couple of items on the table, oh. that's one of our FlexPays at $8.74. What happens is you have four months to pay it off. You will know by the first two weeks if these are working because you know why? You'll go in and look and you'll see, oh gosh, those carrots still look good two weeks from now. <laughs> My boxes begin to work the absolute moment you put something into them. You don't even have to wait for them to start. You don't have to turn anything on. You don't have to throw anything. You throw a switch. You don't have to do anything. Okay. You don't have to throw anything away. This is what you do. Take the carrots out of the package, put them in my green box, put the lid on, put it in the refrigerator. Three weeks later, I'm still snacking on the same carrots. Crazy. It's, it's the most wonderful thing. I used to throw good food away before I traveled because I had no one to give it to, and I knew I would come home and find rotten food. That's a great point. Now I come home and I'm doing a happy dance because I've got salad. I, I'm yeah. still, I mean, these are my products and I'm still excited every time I come home and find the good, fresh, delicious fruits and vegetables that I left there before I went away. That's two weeks. Your green beans should not be able to be tied in a knot. <laughs> All right, there you go. I can actually do two there. weeks. I, that's two week green beans. Instead, your green beans should actually actually snap. That's what it is. Look at the color. Look at the moisture. That's nutrition. Okay, we have a couple questions. Microwave, right. how do we wash them? Okay. Refrigerator, freezer, how does all that work? BPA free. So yes, they are microwave safe. All microwaves are different. Please be aware that with these boxes, I want you to use the lowest possible setting. Okay. All right. So they are microwave safe because they are BPA free. They are made in America. They are top rack dishwasher safe. I usually just wipe them out with a sponge. Mm -hmm. I'd, I hardly ever put them in a dishwasher. Very simple to take Can care they go of. in the freezer? These, these I would say, no, I don't want you to put them in the freezer. You know why? Because when you put things like this in the freezer, there is air in there. You don't want to freeze things that have air inside oh, of them. Oh, because you're actually trapping and making it worse, right? You're making oh, freezer Oh, that's burn. interesting. Yes. That's really you interesting. You need to do, you, then you just buy one of my Debbie Meyer Genius Facts, vacuum seal and put it in the freezer. Well, boom, there hey, you go. Boy. So we have every answer. I, I, yeah, I'm fresh in the freezer, too. <laughs> Wait, show this. Look and that. pears, oh my gosh. You know what's tough about what pears? No, let me tell you, you want a pear, right? Yeah. So you go to the grocery store and you gotta get a hard pear, uh -huh. but you really wanna eat it now. But if you get too soft of a pear, it actually does this too quick and then you throw that out. You, you now pick get the nice, beautiful. perfect pear. <laughs> you pick beautiful pears. You bring right. them home and turn them into that. Right. Well, two weeks later, I still have the blushiest Crazy. pears there is the blush or the mush. I know which one I want. In fact, peaches, you can find peaches now, but they cost the earth because they're out of season. Don't be afraid to buy those out of season fruits and vegetables. I wanted a peach. <laughs> it's as simple as that. I wanted to I want eat a peach. And I, I don't want to wait for summer. So I buy them and keep them in my green boxes 14 days later. Instead of this That's mush, I, I, really, I put my finger through it earlier. You have these. Corn, you get a good deal on corn. And when the corn comes in, what, what are they, five cents each? Yeah. Or two for a nickel or something? Right. Doesn't matter how inexpensive they are, if you throw them away, it was no bargain. It's very expensive. So 14 <laughs> days ago, I got ready to have a barbecue tonight hmm. by buying my corn and storing it in my green box. That's all That's I did. You don't have to be running to the store right before you want to have a party or someone's coming over. Yeah. I've always got things ready and fresh in my refrigerator, and I don't have to worry about it because I know that this is independent, laboratory tested, and with millions and millions and millions of people saving millions and millions and millions of dollars right. Right. over the time. I know they work, you know they work. You know, every consumer reporter in the world has done reports on my yeah. boxes. Yeah. They've tested them, they've done everything. You can feel very, very confident because when I come here to HSN, I can't say what I'm saying unless I get, I have legal proof That's right. of what I'm saying. Look at this broccoli. Mm. A tight, tight head is what it's supposed to be. And it's supposed to be this color. It mm. is not supposed to be any of those colors. Wait, and check this out, guys. 21 days Three later. Weeks. 21 days. Three weeks. Yeah. Wow, and again, that's part of my daily um, eating routine now. Yes. So I eat a ton of broccoli. Oh. The greens, gotta eat the greens, right? Love all of it. Here's peppers. I didn't know anything about, I didn't know these peppers before I moved to Florida. I love these peppers. We grill them now. Just throw them on the grill and let them char a bit. But nice. if, they're, if you go into the bag and you see, oh, well, I'll throw that one away and I'll throw that, don't do that. Because you never know how deeply the rot goes. If one is rotten, you get oh, rid of all the rest of the bag might be yes. bad. All right, we you say know. hi for, to Joyce in Texas that. because this is now her fifth set. Wow, hi, Joyce. Joyce. You're on with Debbie and Suzanne. Welcome. Hello. Hi. hi. I just want to say quickly that this product is the best thing since the pocket on a shirt. 
I'm from Texas, and I say it like it is, but I'm going to hurriedly do this. I buy a certain kind of bread. Okay. It's 12 grains to 17 grains. Uh-huh. Okay. I open the package, and it goes bad real quick because it doesn't have a lot of preservatives and stuff in it. Right. Okay. I put this bread in what I call your loaf box. Okay. Mm -hmm. The green block. The long one. Right. And then I forgot about it. And I, I, three weeks or more went by. I have a, a diabetic sugar problem, so I thought, I better eat something. So I pulled out that bread, and I thought, oh, Lord, this is going to be bad. <laughs> that bread, baby, was so fresh. I made myself a sandwich. Uh, <laughs> and that bread was just like I bought it the day I bought it. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, and obviously. I didn't put it in the refrigerator. Sure. I put it in a dark cabinet, and girl, even I was shocked. That's awesome. So now you, you can't. Uh, you know, I've had all that other stuff everybody's talking about. It's not worth, it's not worth the money you spend to buy it. Your yeah. stuff. It's the best. Oh, That's awesome. I, thank you. And I, I'm officially going to tell you, you've been Debbie Meyered. <laughs> she has. <laughs> and Joyce, thank you, sweetie, yeah. for sharing your story with us, honey. It was great chatting thank with you. you. Joyce, and again, we got a few more minutes. We'd love your I call as well. We've got more to show you. But once again, if you're new, and I want to say hi. Do you know we a lot of people are shopping with us for the first time? I am so Welcome to delighted. HSN. We Welcome. love that you're here. There's 400 of you who said, I want to save money. And I love it because you know what, Debbie? You make it so smart and simple. It's simple. All you're doing is changing the container because you're not you're bringing it home in something you just change it to this and then all of a sudden you're putting money back in your purse of or your course. wallet now we're talking about fruits and vegetables and how we're so healthy and everything we're doing everything right well i still like come my on there's donuts. some good stuff i still love my donuts <laughs> and i know that they're going to be fresh and delicious when i want to eat them i like to give away baked goods i give them in one of my green boxes so that i can give them Cute the baked goods a way to keep them fresh longer they keep the box and they can use it for anything for as long as they own it, it works. It's as simple as that. Let me tell you again one more time. My boxes are made with my proprietary formula of natural ingredients that will extend Amazing. the life through, and this is independent scientific laboratory testing, extend the life of produce, that's fruits, vegetables, baked goods, and snacks. Mm -hmm. As long as you own the boxes, they work. As long as the next person owns the boxes, they work. As long as they exist, they work. It so never you, washes out. You cannot wash you it out. You can wash these and wash these and oh. wash these dish yes. top rack safe, and it will never stop never doing changes its job. The efficacy. And it doesn't even drop in its no. effectiveness. No, nothing like that. It's always the same effectiveness all the time. Proudly made right here in America, because I know it's important to me, and you have told me yes. many, many times. Well, and look at this. What's next? Oh, this is, that's broccoli. This is broccoli. My producer's like, what this is, is that? that is, but that I love this. Broccoli. What do you, you know how many fancy popcorns are out there now? Oh, yeah. And again, here in Florida, especially, the humidity hits this, that there's an open bag. Literally two hours later, you yeah. can't eat it. It's gone stale. Cereal, moms, if you're if you're buying cereal for your kids, Absolutely. this cost a fortune, right? Oh, my gosh. Put it in a green, put it in a Debbie Meyer green box. If you have snacks, I mean, let's be realistic. We all love a little yeah. something, something. Even corn chips, man, those go bad so fast. And Just switch the chips? Container. It couldn't be easier. These soft tortillas, they turn into well, hockey And you know what the problem is with the tortillas? They give you so many in one yes. package, and you don't eat them all in one night or a couple nights. You're like, I don't want tortillas every single night of my life. These you know? are 11 days old. This is love. Are they 11, really? 11 Wait, guys, and they are just as soft 11. as you can imagine. Look at that. All right, we're going to scan kind of back down real okay. quick. Just Wait. as a quick reminder why you're showing them, Deb. Look. You are getting eight of the eight cup, eight of the four Wait. cup, 12 of the three Wait. cup, and 12 of the two cup that are included in this configuration. Once again, with almost 20,000 sold, not happening again. This is the ultra light. The price will go up. And what's funny is tomorrow, a lot of people wait, and they'll still come back and say, I'll pay more, and yeah, I'll just pay the full price with no flex. So if you don't want to do don't that, do now's that. the perfect time to do it, right? And the ultra light, I'm telling you, is by far my favorite. It's very lightweight yet durable. And Deb, I'm going to rejoin you one more time because if all you're right. looking at a giant set and you're like, honey, hey. I ain't got any room for all that. I'm a girl who solves problems. I don't make you new ones. There and I did not want to have a storage problem. If you have room in your refrigerator for, for fruits and vegetables, you have room on your countertop for fruits and vegetables and your baked goods, you've got room for these. 
because all you have to do is put all that stuff in the, throw all that in here, there you and go. then you're going to end up with the most wonderful array of things you have fresh to eat. This is the same head of cabbage split in half two, oh, two weeks ago. This one's actually growing its own head inside, all right? The <laughs> carrots, if you juice, you make baby food, that's what you want. This yeah. was a romaine three weeks ago. These are, this is a romaine still, and it's crunchy. All right, Miss Deb. I'm not letting her go very far because we have another brilliant invention coming up. <laughs> I just think the sponge that's sitting by your sink right now, imagine what's growing in there. Yeah, go take Ew. a little sniffy poo. Ew. And we're going to fix that problem too, right? Absolutely. Okay, but before we do that, let me tell you what's coming up towards the end of the hour after I let Miss Deb go. Uh, we're going to talk about Wise Food. This is the emergency preparedness kit. I think this last year, and a lot of us are still in bad weather, yes. but this last year, there's been so much unpredictability. Four nor'easters, who would have thunk, right? Just hitting us, slam, slam, slam. I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and her parents were without power this winter for five days. And what happens when you're in an emergency, you worry about everything. Why do you want to worry about how you're going to eat and how you're going to keep everybody fed? You don't have to anymore. And we're we really turn to one of the premier names when it comes to emergency preparedness and that's the wise food company we have an amazing introductory price coming up on this huge 158 total servings you're ready when you need it so you the last thing you can worry about is how you're going to eat because it's taken care of for you and we'll see that coming up towards the end of this hour all right so it's a weird tease i know and we were talking about hey think about the sponge that's sitting right beside your counter or right beside your sink does it look bad does it smell bad or maybe it looks something like this. You can actually completely get rid of all those old sponges and quite frankly, never use a traditional sponge again because of, of course, the brilliance of Debbie Meyer. <laughs> well, you know, I'm always solving my own problems yes, first. Sure. Yes, sure. I was walking past the sink. I go, what is that? I thought it was something in the drain. Ew. And then I realized it was this. It was my sponge. I started throwing away my sponges. One sponge every Sunday morning was going in the garbage. Right. And I was realizing how much that was costing me. But And I didn't I didn't want to have to do that because I also considered that wasteful. So I decided to actually create a sponge that was completely different. This is called a sponge. This is called a sponge. That's where the similarity ends. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to get rid of that for now. My original Debbie Meyer Genius sponges have over a thousand five-star perfect reviews. That's a sponge. That's a sponge. <laughs> like, a sponge. Who gets so excited about get... a sponge they're willing to go exactly. and write about it? And thank it's you for be a good doing sponge. it. <laughs> this sponge is completely different from any other sponge you've ever known because my sponge is is actually made with natural ingredients that inhibit the growth of molds and bacteria in and on the sponge for the life of the sponge. Mm. The other side of the original sponge is green. It's a little scrubby. It's safe for nonstick. It's safe for your ceramic top um, stoves. It's safe for everything. I use it every single day to wash my dishes and everything. My sponges will never smell. They will never get hard. They stay exactly like this for the life of the sponge. Today, I've added a new sponge to the set. We are gonna get 12 of my original sponges and an additional six of the new ones. Front is exactly the same Debbie Meyer Genius sponge. The rear is now silver. Silver means scour. That is for heavy duty scouring. It's for your grill pans. It's for your broil pans. It's for bakeware that has stuck on baked on stuff. It's for stainless steel cookware. It's for outdoor grills. Please make sure it's cool before you try to scrub it, but it will scrub your grill clean. And guess what? It will always stay mm. soft, even while you're using it. You can't get a splinter. It can't hurt you, but it is very rough and it is very abrasive. So no nonstick for this one. And it has all the same properties as this one. It's just the way the fiber is twisted and, and woven on this Brilliant, particular huh? sponge. So you're getting both. Now, another thing about my sponges, they will hold 22 times, it, it'll hold 22 times its own weight in, in liquid and it absorbs 40% more than an ordinary sponge. But let's talk about ordinary sponges for a moment because I have a tape that was made by the independent laboratory that tested my sponges for their efficacy. What you're gonna see right now is that ugly sponge that's probably sitting next to your, mm. your sink right now. We see those little things? They are duplicating as you're watching them. That's what stinks. Bacteria smells when it, absolutely, when it replicates and it reproduces. Simply switching to one of my genius sponges next to your sink, watch this. Poof, mm. poof, poof. That's showing you that my sponges will not support the gro life or growth of and I'm talking about stuff, molds and, and bacteria like salmonella, staph, 
black molds, all the things that make us sick, as well as many, many others I can't pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> and absorbency, I'm gonna make a mess, like I always do in the kitchen. When I make a mess in the kitchen, I don't have to do anything special, I just throw my sponge on it and let the sponge wow. do the work. And I'm hoping we can actually see this. See, I'm it's actually to... pulling it in. It's pulling it in to the extent that in, in a moment there's going to be a separation between the puddle and the sponge because it actually, there it is, huh. look at that. And underneath it's almost completely, it's almost absolutely dry. Well, just in that, yeah. just for that instance alone, just like a super sponge, right? How much do you spend on paper towels every month? Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. Debbie is all about Here saving us money, there saving us time. Yeah, look there, isn't that there funny? Is. Oh, there you see solid. Look, it's completely it's separated. It's completely separated <laughs> because the sponge has picked up everything. When I pick up the sponge, the surface under it is almost absolutely dry. So I keep these also, not just kitchen, I keep them in the bathroom because where do you have the most water? I mean, really? Yeah. No, Next to every point. sink. So people can wipe up their sinks and they're done. And you put it down, you rinse my sponges. How do you take care of them? You don't. You rinse it out under the running water, right. put it down, tomorrow morning it's like a brand new sponge because nothing can live on it, nothing can grow on it, nothing can be replicated on it, so it's healthier. Oh wait, Same just thing. real quick, I wanna point out the little yes. thing beside you. It's a this day only, and I kinda wanna explain that sure. and then we got more to show you, but Absolutely. what's a this day only? And it's kinda vital now because we're at 9.30 on the East Coast. Yes. A this day only is like a temporary today special. It's one deal, one day, and at midnight it completely changes. It's actually gonna go up in price. We all need this, it's just like your green boxes. We all need containers to put our stuff in, get smart containers. We all need sponges. Get a smart sponge. And uh, really, my producer and I, Catherine, were talking about it. Why would anybody have traditional sponges? Like the next time you go to the <laughs> grocery store no and you buy that two pack and then it gets smelly and nasty and it's so awful and you throw it out or it gets hard because they harden so fast, you're going to think about this moment. So just like the green boxes, change the sponges you're using. These last a very long Wait, time, by the way. You know what? I'm actually going to go back here for a moment because I want to show you about lasting. I talked about these sponges lasting longer. Mm -hmm. Each sponge lasts the equivalent of 15 ordinary sponges wow. in a set of eight and okay I'll do the math for you thank you in a set of 18 <laughs> sponges that you're going to get means you don't have to buy 270 it's crazy of these. think of how much the savings 270 is 270 ordinary sponges instead of 18 of mine and my 18 by the way these became the stocking stuffer of the year I was hysterical we people were saying I'm giving sponges your sponges as stocking stuffers so we actually did a holiday version this year for the first time and it was <laughs> it was tremendous I loved it people send me pictures of their kids holding sponges That's I, awesome. you know. so I'm gonna go over behind and sneak behind I'd rather have a sponge thing uh, coal <laughs> Is, yeah. <laughs> I wanted to show you the items, give you some ideas about the items that you can use this heavy duty scouring side on. This is my roasting rack. Look how gorgeous my roasting rack is. It looks very nice. From turkeys to chickens to roast, whatever it is, this is what you would use it on. Bakeware that has all that burned on little, you know, and there's always little bits. My sponges always stay soft. Even the scouring side stays soft. You don't need any extra kinds of, different kinds of cleaning agents. Use dish soap. And then you can clean inside spaces because it's always gonna be soft. This is never gonna hurt you. You cannot get splinters from this. It doesn't come off. And it doesn't hold on to anything. When you rinse it, it rinses clean. On the green ones, if you've ever picked um, scrambled eggs out of a yeah. scrubby before, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you don't have to do that anymore because you just rinse it under running water. Right. I'm embarrassed to say that I own these pants. <laughs> she was funny. She's like, I actually brought pants from I home. I actually brought pants. <laughs> Look at that pan. Look at the difference. That's the burn. explain how you cleaned it. How'd you clean that? I only dish soap, water, and my scrubber. That was it. She didn't, you didn't use any kind of specialty, no, nothing, whatever. Nothing. And look at the difference. I mean, it actually looks practically new. That's awesome. And I'm very excited because I was embarrassed about this. Now, this one is a little harder to see, and I always try not to catch the light badly, but ah, there, oh, that's good. Look at that. Yeah. Look at the difference. This is the side that, how it was. This is the side after I use that heavy duty scour. You, Suzanne, feel it. It actually feels silky. Oh my gosh, it does. Isn't it? Oh, you're totally right. Wow. Yeah. So it's like a new pan. Because this is nonstick, I can use it on the inside as well. But do not use no, the heavy duty. No, because this is stainless steel. Yeah. Do you can not, use it on the inside. Yes. Yeah. Do not use this on your nonstick. 
Right. Because it's too you want to use the green guy. Green is that's, go. Green is this go. This is serious scrubby. Okay. Silver that's like for scour. Yes. Yeah, silver's because, for scour. Green for go on everything else. So your broiler pans, your things for the well, grill, all of those and things. And you know what's interesting? What Deb, talk about the issue of taking that old sponge. Oh, I got the old sponge, and I'm going to clean my baby's crib or oh. my baby's um, little high chair. Like, think about what's in what that is sponge. This? Oh yeah. And you go and you wipe up the counter, and then you go to the baby's high chair, and you're wiping it. And that's that sponge that smells. Even if you have a sponge that doesn't smell, but uh -huh. doesn't have this technology, doesn't it's matter. harboring all that, isn't it? What did I just do? I just put all that stuff all over everything else that I own. Get rid of that. It is nothing but, a, it, it is a science experiment, and it's an experiment in terror as far as I'm concerned, because I don't know what's living in there. Again, when you make a mess, all you have to do is take one of my sponges and drop it on top of the mess. It is absorbing without trying. I'm not even touching that sponge and it's suck, supping it up right there. When I lift this sponge, actually underneath, it's virtually dry. Crazy. It holds 40% more than an ordinary sponge and 22 times its own weight <laughs> in liquid. It's like a super I mean, sponge. It is, yeah. It, <laughs> and it's funny because you know what? You'll never go and use another sponge again. Well, and here's what's really funny. I've, you know, I've used yours for years, yes, since, ever since you launched them. <laughs> and I start to run out and she knows I get this little panic thing. I look at her and I'm like, I need more sponges. <laughs> you sort of become like a sponge junkie. You're like, you know, oh, hey, Deb, my sponge, I need and one. And when I'm sold out, people go crazy. Oh I mean, my I'm, gosh, I get so yeah. Many I just got an update too. The four flex that you see right there on the screen it actually ends tonight along with the pricing so if you, yeah it's one of those things you go why would anybody write a review yeah. about a sponge well it's got to be really really a special sponge if people are willing to go online and rave about it because most sponges just aren't that exciting but it really yeah. does make a big difference not only in cost savings but really you're not taking and you're cleaning up the the chicken liquid yeah, oh gosh. and then tomorrow you're spreading it around yes, you know yes, on your baby's yeah. hygiene Chair. Let's talk about cleaning the thing you're cleaning with. All right, some people will say, put your sponge in the microwave. Oh, no. I am not putting this filthy thing in a place where I cook food. That's Absolutely true. not. Put in a dishwasher. You're not, dishwashers don't necessarily get hot enough to sterilize anything. Oh. They might even make it problem worse because they're warm enough to warm up that bacteria and mold. Oh, get it all yeah, excited. Get it all excited, <laughs> Grow right? some more, yay. <laughs> With my sponges, you don't do anything to, to clean them or make them work. You just rinse under the sink like you ordinarily would. Put it down tomorrow, it's a new sponge. I want you to look at the shape. See that curve and that curve? I did that especially for you, ladies. <laughs> I, have, I have a relatively small hand. I wanted a sponge to fit in my hand. I didn't want to have to stretch and I didn't want something that was too too thin. Yeah. Why didn't I want it too thin? Because I didn't want my nails to touch yeah. the scrubby side. She you thought of it all. I didn't want my nails to touch that. So I can scrub pans without ever touching the scrubby and, uh, side. And take us back to the technology again. This technology is natural ingredients incorporated in the construction of the sponge. This sponge will last the equivalent of 15 ordinary sponges. You're, what you're looking at right now is that ugly piece of sponge that you probably have sitting next to your sink right now. That bacteria and mold is duplicating. It is reproducing mm. as we speak, as we watch it. That's what smells the, the, when it's duplicating itself. Switch to one of my Debbie Meyer Genius sponges and you will have the cleanest sponge every single day. You see how they're just going poof, poof, poof? That's because my sponges are specially designed to not support and in fact inhibit the growth of molds and bacteria in and on the sponge, and that includes the scrubby sides, for the life of the sponge. It's great. It's so simple, you do nothing. Again, I don't like moving parts. You do nothing to make them work. You do nothing to have to clean. You do nothing, nothing, nothing except use it, rinse it, put it down. Tomorrow morning, I'm picking up a brand new sponge. That's as simple as you get. And it's something else here, I really, you know, kind of dare you to try it because you know you're looking and you're going seriously now yeah. it's a sponge like oh yeah and trust me Debbie can't say any of this unless it's all been uh, right. approved legally and all the scientific testing she can't come out here and say that so get it at home and use our flex pay which is on flex guys we're doing four dollars and 99 cents you pay off your sponges oh. in four months okay <laughs> that is for tonight only so you'll know within a couple weeks because guess what it's not going to have the slime it's not going to be ever be hard and it's not going to have that nasty smell that's the most 
disgusting smell. Oh, it, it's the worst smell. And you know, we'll hang on and keep using that old nasty sponge, but really think about just transferring all of the stuff to all the different surfaces around your house. You're mm -hmm. getting a huge configuration. Yep. It's 12 of the green guys, which are her originals. And now this is brand new. It's a world launch today. You're getting six of the scouring. And this is true scouring. I mean, take it to that grill. Those really hard to clean things. Do not use this on nonstick, you guys. Don't do it. This is for real scouring. Right. And yet, it's still super soft. And you said it's even softer when it's wet. When it's wet, I, I actually, I was worried about it. I said, why is this scouring side so soft? And then I started using it. I'm going, oh my gosh. Why does it have to be rough and tough on your hands? But you're getting 18 in this set, right? The 12 of my originals, the six of my new scouring sponge, and that means you are not gonna have to buy, come over here and look, 270 other All right, sponges. Deb, I'm gonna see you in a couple of minutes. So, yes. 15 minutes, or no, uh, at the end of the end of next hour, you're gonna yep. come back and we'll take one last look at her green boxes, which is gonna save you a ton of money. So if you missed it, you gotta stick around to see how she's gonna save you a lot on your food bill. All right, thanks for hanging out. Thank you, baby. Also available, I gotta show you this. This is awesome today because we really are uh, really kind of having a lot of solutions to kind of make your life a little easier in the kitchen. And certainly, certainly, certainly having amazing, amazing uh, knives you gotta have them, right? It's so frustrating not to have a good knife. We have three choices that are available. We have the basics, which you're seeing right here, the basics. These are the brights. And look at these, these are the pastels. It's from Cuisinart, you know that name. It's a massive set. In fact, it's a 12 piece ceramic coated knife and sheer set. And read the reviews, we have 434 five star. If you need new knives, this is a good deal. <laughs> it's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started or you know your way around a glue gun, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say Y-E-S to DIY at HSN. of plastic could be so much fun. Now, when you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. Now, when you use your HSN card, you get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus, no interest VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. great solutions for your home. This is a wise food company, which we'll talk about. And next hour, stick around. I have some amazing, amazing offers in terms of electronics. And it's going to be a really fun hour. So I hope you can stay with us, especially if you need a new tablet. I have you covered next hour. But in this, well, I guess, uh, sorry, 11 o'clock tonight, I have you covered. Because now we're going to talk about wise now into our next hour. And we're featuring the emergency preparedness kit. You know, it's interesting because this last winter, even all of last year, if you really think about 
about it. We had some of the craziest weather situations. Who would have thunk four no east nor'easters? I mean, slam, 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 slam in a row. Talking to a friend of mine, her parents were without power for five days up in the north, in the frigid north. And I think the worst part about that in any emergency situation is, what do you have to worry about? Well, top of our list is gonna be warmth, shelter, and food. Imagine now one of your biggest priorities becomes one of your least priorities because you're prepared and you're ready. And that's really what WISE specializes in. They're one of the premier premier emergency meal factories and companies in the world. They have chefs that make it good, they make it easy, and you get a phenomenal deal exclusive to us. And this is important because if you went to the Wise site and you tried to match exactly what we're doing, you would spend, I've got the number, $274 to match what you're getting in our kit that's $109.95. Please remember we have free shipping. We also have five flex on this. And the five flex is obviously available right now while they're available. Uh, customer review, huge customer pick. And I'm gonna get Stephanie Roberts in here because we're gonna really talk about what you're getting in this collection, but more importantly, how how really good Wise Food Company is. I mean, they Absolutely. just are one of the best when it comes to creating this kind of food. Uh, two important things happening here. The taste, number one, because it's one thing to have food, but even in an emergency situation, you wanna like the food you are eating. So Wise employs gourmet chefs, the recipes are written by chefs, and you can taste it. It tastes like it's supposed to. But the other thing is, you just want this food to be there whenever you need it. And that's where we get into longevity and shelf stability and this power. Wise has put together a pouch that seals out oxygen, it seals out humidity, it seals out things that make food go bad simply by the way it is constructed by the scientists for up to 25 years. Mm -hmm. So when you put together both of these things, suddenly you have food that tastes great, all I do is add water. And by the way, it does not have to be hot water. The reason we have our pot sitting on a burner is simply to speed up the process of having it reconstitute a little bit. And let's be honest, all food tastes better hot. You don't need me to tell you that. But in an emergency, this food will come, whether the water is cold, whether the water is coming out of your tap, your bathtub, as long as it is potable, safe drinking water, you add the water to the pouch of food, give it a stir, put the lid on, and within five to 10 minutes, a great tasting meal that tastes exactly like the meal is supposed to. In this case, creamy vegetable pasta. You said you wanted to try a new one. I do. This is one of my favorites, simply oh, because of kind of the blend of the flavors and the vegetables. But when we talk about all the different things that are coming to you in this bucket, 10 different, really hearty, stick to your bones kind of food. You know, the ones that make you feel good and full and satisfied. 158 servings with 10 main entrees, three lunch and dinner entrees. In fact, that is the finished product of what you're going to get to see in just a minute come to fruition right before us. But the variety is there. Mm -hmm. The convenience is there. The shelf stability, longevity, 25 years is there. This bucket itself makes me happy. I like to call it grab and go. And originally I thought, oh, that's just kind of convenient so you can carry it. No, it's convenient because in an emergency, if you are forced to evacuate, and gosh, it happened so many times in 2017, we saw the new footage we felt and were scared right there with everyone but what would you have if you had this your food could go with you because whether you are at home and stuck in because of elements or whether you are forced to leave you have to eat I love that this can go with you I love that it can stay in your home and be stored for whenever you need it but I love most the fact that no matter what is coming in 2018 once you prepare your family you're good. The, the, it's checked off the list. If there's one thing we can learn from looking back at 2017, gosh, a lot of things can happen in the world. Crazy. Stuff you can't think of, stuff you never dreamed of. So let's not worry well, about but it. But think of, go back. We're not just talking nor'easters. Go back to Houston. Come back and oh, think yeah. about us down here in Florida. I mean, those were emergencies. And I think this year specifically, a lot of us, and I know I did too, I know Stephanie, you did, it was so close to call down here. You know, mm. and unfortunately, when you think Puerto Rico and all these folks, especially looking Houston, 
Houston as well. You know, these disasters, and you think, oh, it's never going to happen to me. And you know what the worst part is? We have so many people who get this after the fact because they've gone through it. Yes. It's been a scary time, and they thought, never again will I not be prepared. Don't wait until it happens because when it's happening, it's the worst feeling wondering, how am I going to feed everybody? How am I going to eat? Oh my gosh, what am I going to give my kids? What do I have? Oh no, the refrigerator, it's not staying cold anymore because it's beyond a couple days. The store shelves are empty. I didn't yeah. have time to get there ahead of time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you know now the store is not opening. And did that happen to you when the hurricanes were coming kind of barreling down here in Florida? Everybody ran to the store, cleared out yep. every single shelf. And you know what? I didn't have to do that because I have this at home. I've had it for years mm -hmm. now. And I, that, I don't worry about it. I go, well, you know, I'm not going to go fight the traffic nor have to go fight the crowds over that last thing of food exactly. or whatever it is because I know I have it there waiting. Now, we hope you never open it up. <laughs> we hope you never have to taste it, although you'll love it when you do. You'll want to. But the fact is you can get it tonight and have it and then you don't have to worry about it. How many people does this feed? Because this surprises everybody. Well, so 158 servings is what's coming to you. But when we look at how that divides up, that is enough food for one person for an entire month. So Wait, if I say that again. One person worth of food, so just you, let's say, you can eat for an entire month. And that's not one meal a day. Oh no, that's three meals a day. And right. we'll take a look at some of the size of these servings. They are hearty. But it's also, if there's two people in your family, you'll know you're getting a two week supply of food, which by the way, is what FEMA recommends that all of us have on hand. Or it's enough for a family of four for a week. Okay, dollar value alone, mm -hmm. 109 bucks for a week's worth of groceries for a family of four. Okay, that doesn't happen when I go. So I love the value to begin with. It comes out to less than 70 cents well, how much do you a spend, serving. Uh, if you're by yourself, how much do you spend on food one month? Definitely more than Way that. Way more than $109. More. And, well, think and about it, 70 cents a serving. You can't buy a hamburger in the drive-thru oh, for 70 a cents a serving. Right. And we're getting a balanced meal for that, not a greasy right. hamburger. And it's tasty. Very tasty. Well, and let's talk about tasty. I want to go down and show you some of the meals that are included with, especially these 10 lunch and dinner entrees, because this is where I think Wise really shines. So you're taking a look at the creamy vegetable rotini. You can see the slices of carrots. You can see the peas, uh, the con the, just the kind of consistency of the pasta, exactly what you would want in your dish. Okay, this one is very popular. This is the cheesy lasagna. This is actually the first configuration that we've been able to offer this here at Wise. I know when we presented this in the fall, you yeah. got to have it a try of it's it. Really it good. was a customer request, and Wise found a way to give it to us in our big bucket. So I appreciate them for that. Then, of course, we get to the beef stroganoff. Okay, I got to tell you, it's I make delicious. beef stroganoff by scratch, and this is better. And I'm a pretty good <laughs> cook. You know, there's some Something about the uh, creaminess and the consistency that they've got going on here. Also, Southwest rice and beans. Do you notice that each of these dishes looks like it sounds like it should? Southwest rice and beans. Okay, there's some beans. There's some corn. I've kind of got that peppery, tomatoey look to the rice because it's Southwest rice. Everything is seasoned and flavored exactly like it is supposed to be. You're also getting an ability to make a big pile of regular rice, which I like because it's also a great way to stretch a meal. Yes, there are four servings in a pouch, but if you've got teenage boys like I do, we might want to stretch that serving so you can add some rice. Also a Southwest tortilla soup, the ability to make yogurt, you know, just different things. While we were talking, I added some water and suddenly yogurt is coming to consistency. It's amazing. I mean, things that you think, oh, what a great idea because I probably wouldn't see yogurt for a very long time in a storm situation right. simply because of the fact I'm not going to be able to have the refrigeration or maybe the grocery store is not not either. Another thing Wise has done that really kind of strikes home with me as a mom is whey milk. Two pitchers of whey milk can be made. Milk for kids isn't just something they need for nutrition. It's a comfort factor. And you know, if the power's out, if you're flooded and stuck in your home or, you know, need to evacuate or whatever the situation is or power outage, kids obviously are going to be scared. They're going to be nervous. Things aren't going to seem routine. You can make the whey milk. You can give them the routine. Mm -hmm. Everything Wise does is about keeping the normalcy in your life so that you can deal with everything else. Because let's be real. If we're breaking into our emergency food, something's probably not right. Not good. Not good. Who 
Who knows what the not good is? I have decided in life I'm not even going to worry about the not good because I've got this checked off. So if you can have the comfort, if you can have the sustenance, if you can have the nutrition, you can then use the brain power to worry about whatever it is that is in the situation anyway. Maybe well, the not good is economic. Maybe right. it's a bad month and gosh, if I didn't have to go to the grocery and spend money tomorrow, that would be amazing. My not good was my son his freshman year in college. <laughs> I oh, no, I have this next year. Don't tell me this. Yeah, it is bad. He was not eating right, and mm -hmm. I thought, this is ridiculous. So I sent him from here. In I fact, I that. delivered it directly to him. I sent him a pack of Ys, because I thought, well, if he's in a hurry and he's studying and he's running around too much, at least he can take hot water and stick it in a bag and eat. And you know and what? Did he? he liked it. Yes, absolutely. And it gave me a sense of peace, because I knew he was eating more delicious food that right. he wouldn't cook for himself, because he's in a dorm. He's not going to do that. Also, I think for a lot of people, we've had people write who said, you know what? They had an economic downturn. That was their emergency. Mm -hmm. They didn't expect it. Somebody lost a job in the family and they said, gosh, how are we going to eat? And they've actually turned to their wise food because again, it was there for that type of emergency. We have tons of campers and hikers who love this. There's nothing worse being out on a hike or you're out camping and you're like, oh gosh, we're going to have like a PB&J sandwich. Like where do you put all that stuff, especially when you're hiking? These are very lightweight. They're wildly packable. They're easy. Yeah, they're easy to be able to make. Obviously, just water and throw it in there. And you could do it right in the pouch. You can do it in the yeah, house. Absolutely. Yeah. You don't even so have to carry a bowl. We have tons of people who are hikers, they're campers who love these because it is really good for you. It tastes authentic. It yes. tastes like restaurant food, quite frankly. You'll be very surprised. And I just have to give you a quick update. We have less than about 1,500 of the tubs left. And guess what? This is the perfect time of year to get ready. Those of you coming off a rough winter, maybe you're nodding going, I should have had that. Yes. Those of us heading into, and we know tornado season, we know fires out in California. We always worry about hurricanes and we'll be in that season, unfortunately, here pretty soon. Just be ready because you know what? We all think it's never going to happen and then it does. And then honestly, you're kind of panicked because it's almost too late. Exactly. So you want to do it before the storm warnings come out, before the issues come, right. is when you need to get prepared. And it's so easy to store, you know, 25 year shelf life. All you need is a cool, dry place. I keep mine under the bed, quite honestly, and I keep the bucket in the garage in case I should need it there. The other thing we do is we stick it in the upper pantry. You know, it doesn't even have to be anywhere where you're going to have to run into it all the time. But the bottom line is it's food it tastes like it is supposed to. It's there when you need it.